The Princess of Wales looked solemn as she appeared at the cenotaph for a poignant service to remember fallen soldiers. Kate, 41, maintained a somber expression for the occasion and dressed in an all-black outfit as she arrived at the Remembrance Sunday service at Cenotaph in London. On the lapel of her Catherine Walker military-inspired coat, Kate opted for a three red poppies to pay tribute to all those who have lost their lives in conflict while fighting for their country. The mother of three also wore a silver brooch, which she was awarded when she became Commodore-in-Chief of the Fleet Air Arm earlier this year. The royal styled her hair in a chic updo and completed her ensemble with a large black hat, with an elegant velvet bow. The royals maintained a period of two minutes silence to mark the fallen soldiers. As the royal family attended the cenotaph to take part in the service, they joined army officers and prominent UK politicians. Among them were Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and leader of the opposition, Sir Keir Starmer. Former UK Prime Ministers including Liz Truss, Boris Johnson, Theresa May, David Cameron, Gordon Brown, Tony Blair and Sir John Major were also present. Meanwhile across the pond, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been paying tribute to veterans in the U.S. and around the world this week. On Thursday the Duke and Duchess of Sussex joined the Navy SEAL Foundation for the official opening of a new training base, known as the West Coast Warrior Fitness Program Facility, ahead of Veterans Day on November 11. The couple were meeting veterans, servicemen and women and and their loved ones at Camp Pendleton. Wreaths of poppies have already been taken through the gates of Downing Street ahead of the service as a long line of veterans and armed forces personnel members, snaking from near the gates of Downing Street to down past Horse Guards Parade, has assembled. A two-minute silence took place at 11 a.m., with 10,000 veterans and 800 armed forces personnel members from all three services will march past the Cenotaph to the Horse Guards Parade. It comes after the Metropolitan Police said it made 126 arrests after far-right groups gathered to protect the Cenotaph from a major pro-Palestine march during Armistice Day on Saturday. Nine officers were injured after they were pelted with bottles, cans and metal fences while preventing a crowd of mainly far-right football hooligans from reaching the cenotaph. Last night, King Charles unveiled new statues of his late parents at the Royal British Legion Festival of Remembrance in London. The life-sized bronze artworks, commemorating the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh's dedication to the Royal Albert Hall, were erected as part of the building's 150th anniversary. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak observed the event from a box to the left of the royals alongside his wife Akshata Murti while Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer sat in a separate box to the right with his wife Lady Victoria.
The event saw the king unveil the statue of his late mother, while Camilla pulled back the curtain on the bust of Prince Philip. The Princess Royal led a tribute to those who lost their lives in the Battle of the Atlantic, the longest military campaign of the Second World War. This year's Festival of Remembrance marked 80 years since the battle, which saw around 65,000 seamen lose their lives. 